Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger and congratulations to you for completing this series where we developed a custom blogger template from scratch and I hope that you have followed all the videos. I also provided the link of the XML file in the description of the video so that just in case if you have any issues you can uh, refer to this code. Now in this video I'll just talk about how you can improve this theme even further and what are the functionalities you can add to this theme to make it even better. So let's get started. Now before getting started with this video, I'll just fix one issue that we had. So if you go to any of these posts, we'll just go to the first post over here. And here we can see this is the thumbnail image and if you scroll down, here also we can see the thumbnail image. And I have added two images in this post. Now some of you in the comments uh, mentioned that this image over here and this image right here, both of those don't look nice. So since we have this thumbnail image over here, what we can do is we can hide the first image from our blog post. As you know that in Blogger, the first image of a post is considered as a thumbnail. So we have already used that over here. So now what we can do is we can just hide all the first images in the posts and then we can display all the other images. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that and then we'll continue with this video. So let's go to the theme code. I'll just click on customize edit HTML. Now you just need to add a couple of lines of CSS code for this. So first of all, let's go uh, to the area where we added all the CSS for the post. So this is the CSS for the posts. Let's go to our uh, website and uh, let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's see what is uh, the division or what is the markup of the image. Here we can see for the image, we have a division with a class of separator. And if we scroll down, let's see what is the markup of the second image. And for the second image also, we have this division with the class of separator. So whenever we have an image in our post, we have a division with the class of separator. And in that we have an anchor tag and in that we have the image. So what you can do is uh, you can simply hide the first separator class from your post. So let's go back to our code and here we will add a selector we'll type post body so here we can see everything is inside this class post body and then let's type separator and we'll just select the first instance of separator so for that we will type nth of type and we'll type one over here so this will select the first separator and here we'll just simply type display none and let's save it and let's refresh our page and now we can see that the first image is being displayed here as the thumbnail and the first image is not displayed in our post we have all the other images displayed over here let's go to another post here we can see we have the thumbnail image and the image is not displayed in our post so that basically solves the issue where we have the image displayed twice. Alright, now let's continue with this video. First of all, let's talk about how you can improve and extend the theme in a lot of ways. One of the common things that most of the themes contain is the share buttons. So after each of the post or before the post starts or somewhere on the page where the post is displayed, there are a lot of share buttons for different social media accounts. For example, share to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. So in this theme, you can add share buttons to your posts. I have a video on that. You can watch that and you'll be able to add share buttons to your blogger website. I will leave the link of the video in the description below. Another thing you can do is to add a custom 404 page for your blogger website. Let's see how the current 404 page looks. So let's add some gibberish over here. And this is how the current 404 page looks. We have just a simple message over here. Now you can customize this 404 page and add an image and add all sorts of different things you want over here. I have a video on that as well so you can check that out. Another thing you can do for this theme is to style all the different elements that the user can add to a post. For example, style the headings that may be in the post like all the headings like S3, H4 and H5. You can also add stylings for unordered lists, ordered lists, block quotes, images and a lot of different elements that can be added to a post. So that whenever the user adds any of these kinds of elements to the post, it should match with our theme. 
So you can go ahead and add different styles to the elements in the CSS. The next thing you can do to improve this theme is to add an advanced commenting system to your blogger website so that you can get a better looking UI and also a lot of advanced features. I have a video on that as well so you can check that out. The next thing you can do is to add animations to the different elements of your website. So in our theme we can add animation to the elements of the header so that it looks a little better and modern. Another feature that a lot of websites have is a scroll to top button. I have a video on that as well so you can create one for this theme as well. You can also add a dark mode toggle button to your theme. And in a lot of modern themes you can find image sliders in your home page. So I have videos on how to create image sliders as well so you can add that to the home page of this theme. Now I will leave the links of all these videos in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out. Now considering the resources that you can use to learn blogger theme development, there are not a lot of resources for learning blogger theme development. There is not a single place where you can find everything about blogger theme development. So for that you have to search for different things on different websites regarding different blogger theme development tags. Let me show you some of the terms you can search for. You can search for blogger theme tags. Now here you can see we have a lot of websites. The first one is uh, from Google itself. So if you go to this uh, web page, you can find a list of uh, the layout data tags. So you can go ahead and uh, check this out and use this in your themes and check how it looks. Here we have an example, data colon description and it will display the description of your theme on your website. So you can check all this out. And uh, then we have other websites as well. And if you have any issues in your theme development, one of the best resources you can find answers to is from this website called stackoverflow.com. You can find fix to a lot of issues over here in this website. You can even ask your own questions if you want. And uh, I'll also just search for blogger theme conditionals. So if you search for blogger theme conditionals, you can find a website called ultimateblogguide.blogspot.com. In this you can find a lot of if statements for your blogger theme. So let me just open this. Here we can see conditional statements for blogger. Here we can see for the archive page, you can add this if condition and everything that is written inside this condition will be visible only on the archive page. In the same way we have error page, index page, home page and all these things over here. And if you scroll down, we have this tool over here in this website called Blogger Conditional Tag Wrapper Tool. So if you click on that, we have this tool over here which outputs the if conditional code right here. So you can select something from here. So let me just select index pages and uh, let's click on wrap. So here we can see we have this if conditional for the index page and uh, you can just add your code in place of this line of text. So in this way you can just search for anything over here and click on wrap and you'll find the if condition for that. So this can also be a great tool for your blogger theme development journey. I'll leave the link of some of these websites in the description below as well. And the other way to learn blogger theme development is to take a look at the XML of any of the themes available on the market. So you can go ahead and install any blogger theme and uh, you'll be able to access the XML file. You can also take a look at the official blogger themes which are already present when you create a new website. You can just apply the new theme and then go ahead and click on edit HTML and take a look at the XML file and uh, it can be a little advanced for a beginner but uh, you'll be able to figure a lot of things out and just study the code and see how everything is structured and you'll be able to get a fairly good idea of how the theme is structured. You can learn a lot of things by taking a look at the other blogger themes. Just go ahead and add and remove some of the code and see how it looks. And you can even add if conditions and see uh, how the theme behaves. So in this way you can learn a lot about blogger theme development. Right now that we have completed our theme, whenever you want to add it to a website, you have to just copy the XML from your theme and then add that to a blogger website. And the only thing you have to do is replace the links of the images. So for that you have to first of all host the images somewhere and then you have to get the link and add that to your image links. 
or you can just go ahead and add a page to your blogger website and add all the images inside that and then just get the link from there and add it to your theme this is what we have done in uh, this series you can watch the videos in the earlier parts of the series and once you do that everything will be all right and you'll be able to use this theme on any blogger website all right that's basically it for this video i'll be uploading more content on blogger and even on wordpress so stay tuned and click on the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial series Hit the subscribe button and also press the bell notification button if you haven't already to get notified of the latest videos as soon as they are posted. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.